It's a good show of faith in the club, isn't it, from you guys, from your brother? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, they've been awesome for our family and, and to sign both of us on at the same time, it's uh, pretty special, I would have thought. So, um, yeah, we've, we've loved our time ever since we landed in Brisbane and, um, yeah, it's great to see the faith that they've put in us, is us Berry boys. Is he a playing flat, mate? Uh, he hasn't moved in with me yet, so I guess I'll find that out pretty soon, but um, I'm sure he will be. Doesn't usually work like that, does it? The two brothers get to enjoy a journey together so so um, smoothly, I guess. So. Yeah, yeah, that's right, and uh, we can't thank the club enough for what they've done. I guess, um, yeah, for me, it was sort of when, when do you ever get the opportunity to sign with your brother, let alone um, be at the same club and, and play with him, hopefully? So, um, yeah, it was, I guess, one of those one of those things you like to tick the box and yeah, I was pretty stoked when we both got to sign. You still pinch yourself a bit, Jay. You've played 40-odd games or 45 games and you're here for another five years, I guess, including next year. Like, pretty pretty strong show from the club. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, it is it is a little bit like that. You, you pinch yourself a little bit because I'll be... Uh, well, if everything goes well, I'll be playing at, at uh, age 25, I think, um, at this point. So, yeah, it's it's pretty hard for me to see into the future like that. But um, for the club to, I guess, um, show the faith and, and predict that, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Thinking about you know, like five years in the future each year, mate, is it just pure excitement or anticipation of what could happen at this club in that amount of time? Yeah, it is. That, that belief, um, I already spoke about it before, but um, I guess... For me, it was, it was just that belief that we have in the club and I have uh, with the coaches, the messaging, uh, the process that we have already, that I feel like success isn't too far away. And, and that was the reason for extending the, the four years. So, um, yeah, I'm just really stoked that, that I was, I guess, able to just come out and say that, um, that we're on the right track and, and I feel that. And I know that we've got the right people in the right places. And, um, yeah, that belief is really building and, uh, yeah. Is that the overriding belief, or are there, there are others as well? You know, like there seems to be a fair deal of mateship in this club as well now. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm sort of the um, the one at the moment, but everyone sort of believes in and that we're on the right track, and we reinforce that in meetings and everything. We show statistics that we're we're improving and we're getting better, and we're adapting with the game, with the rule changes and that. So, um, yeah, we we know exactly where we're at as a club and. Uh, we can see that we're improving from last year and the year before that and um, even game on game we're, we're still improving. You've been here since the start of like the turnaround I guess, like the, the new regime. Like what do you, can you put your finger on anything that's helped the club become so tight and, and have such a strong culture now compared to what it may have been previously? Um, yeah, it's hard to put my finger on one thing but um, I guess the, the role of uh, of the players is probably the biggest thing for me. Like I come in and um, I've had Dane Beams take me under his wing and, and then Dane Zorko and, and Ryan Lester playing golf with me when I'm um, sort of coming in just a, a young teenager sort of thing and they've uh, helped me out that way and everyone just does their little part having you over for dinner to uh, make you feel a little bit more comfortable um, and I think I think that's that's uh, started from our draft year and it's, it's sort of um, grown and stemmed and and now, now I guess we're the ones that we take the, the younger kids in under our wings and take them out for dinner and stuff like that and make them feel welcome straight away. So, yeah. Um, this weekend, I think it's 10 years since you've beaten Sydney, which is a crazy stat, but you've got you to dance your chances tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's, uh, I was in grade six, I think. <laughs> um, so, yeah, looking back on that way, it, was, it is, a, is a long time, so... Uh, 11 games, I think it was, and um, it's, it's about time we turn that around. And, uh, we, we know they're a very proud club, though, so they're going to come out firing and and, uh, and be very, very tough and physically out here. So we're preparing ourselves for that, and uh, we'll be bringing the contest tomorrow night. Is that the stage you're at now where it's not just it would be nice to beat them? Like you've got a, it's almost like a must-win game when you're when you look at the ladder and, and what you want to achieve this year. That's sort of a non-negotiable. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, I guess it's sort of shifted from my first year that um, we're sort of coming out to just to be competitive, but we come out now to to win every game we play. So um, yeah, definitely on the weekend, it's it's one that we we come out and we hopefully will um, well not hopefully we we expect to win, but um, yeah, it's it's not about the end result for us. It's about the process, and we've got to stick to our process.
Jared, lastly, how have you found the noise and the membership sort of improve over the last three years you've been here at the Gabba? Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Uh, the difference between 15,000 to 20,000 is is unbelievable, and and once uh, we get more members and, and uh, fans coming into the game, like it's just electric to play in front of. So uh, we encourage everyone to come along and. Um, hopefully they can see that we're improving and, and the football style that we play is exciting and, and good to watch. So uh, we encourage as many um, as possible to come along.